became angry. And he introduced me to myself. That they're going to change. That's why I'm the way I am now. What's up, y'all? Today we will be reading from the book of St. John, chapters 5 and 6. Thank you, Father God, for this moment, for this opportunity, and for the fact that I can use my voice and spread your word. I thank you and I honor you and I praise you with all of my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And let's get into this reading, guys. Chapter 5. Jesus heals a lame man at Bethsaida pool. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethsaida, having five porches. And these lay a great multitude of impotent folk of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, Another stepped down before me. And Jesus said unto him, Rise and take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him, That was cured. It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, and he that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. And then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed was not who it was. For Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Verse 14, afterwards, Jesus find, findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him. Because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. Jesus is one with the Father. But Jesus answered them, My Father worketh here too, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his Father, making himself equal with God. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he see the Father do. For what things soever he do, there these also do the Son likewise. For the Father live, my bad. Verse 20. For the Father loved the Son, and shewed him all things that himself doeth. And he will shew him greater works than these that ye may marvel. For as the father raised up the dead and quickened them, 
even so the son quicken whom he will. For the father judge no man, but have committed all judgment unto the son. Verse 23, that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honor not the son, honor not the father, which have sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heard my word and believed on him that sent me have everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. And verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the son of God. And they that hear shall live. For as the Father have life in himself, so have he given the Son. So has he given to the Son to have life in himself. And have given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurre resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which have sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnessed of me is true. Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say that ye might be saved. He was a burning and shining light. And ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father have given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me that the Father have sent me. And the Father himself which have sent me have borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time nor seeing his shape and ye have not and ye have not his word abiding in you for whom he sent him ye believe not search the scriptures for in them ye think ye have eternal life and they are they which testify of me and ye will not come to me that ye might have life i receive not honor from men but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that come from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father, there is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? Chapter 6, Chapter 6 Jesus feeds more than 5,000. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias, and a great multitude followed him, because they saw his miracles which he did on them that were diseased. And Jesus went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples, and the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. And when Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, 
Whence ye, my bad. I'm gonna repeat verse five. <laughs> Y'all don't judge me. I like to be goofy because well, I like to enjoy myself. Let me say that. Um, I enjoy hanging out with God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the he- heaven, and I'm gonna make this as fun as possible. So if I mess up, don't judge me. And if I laugh at myself, I really don't care if you judge me. But verse 5. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. And Philip answered, Two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon's Peter brother, said unto him, There is a lad here, which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves. When he had given thanks, he distributed it to the disciples and the disciples to them that were set down. And likewise of the fishes as of much as they would. Verse 12 says, when they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is of a truth that prophet that should come into the world. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force and make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. Jesus walks on the sea. In verse 16, And when even was now come, his disciples went down into the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea towards Capernaum. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. But he said unto them, It is I. Be not afraid. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land where they went. Jesus is the bread of life. Verse 22 says, The day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that they were none other boat there, save that one where into his disciples were entered and that Jesus went with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples were gone away alone. How be it? There came other boats from Tiberias, nigh into the place where they did eat bread after the Lord had given thanks. And when the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum, seeking for Jesus. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? And Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Ye seek me, not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. 
Labor not for the meat which perish, but for the meat which endures unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him have God the Father sealed. That's good right there. Verse 28 says, Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we may, that we might work the, the works of God? And Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God that ye believe on him, whom he hath sent. And they said, Therefore unto him, What sign shewest thou then that we may see and believe thee? What what thou thou work? What doest? Let me let me spell it out. D O S T. What doest thou thou work? In verse thirty one says, Our father did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. And then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and give life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that come to me shall never hunger. And he that believe on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. And that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that come to me I will in no wise cast out. Ooh, protection. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I shall lose nothing, but shall raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which see the Son and believe on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me to draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that have heard and have learned of the Father come unto me. Not that any man have seen the Father, save he which is of God, he hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believe on me have everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which come down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? And then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, 
and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. So is that what uh, First Sunday is about when we do communion? Verse 56, he that eat my flesh and drink my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. As the living father have sent me and I live by the father so that he eat me, even he shall live by me. Mm. I'm going to repeat that. Verse 57 says, as the living father has sent me and I live by the father. So he that eat me, even he shall live by me. Oh, I thought that was saying something different. I'm glad I reread it. This is the bread that which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eat of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue, as he taught in Capernaum. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Do doth this often my bad. Doth this offend you? What? And if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before. It is the spirit that quickened. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, therefore, said I unto you that no man can come unto me. Except it were given unto him of my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. What does that mean? From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then Jesus, then said Jesus unto the twelve, will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, saying, Lord, I don't want to add no words, so let me correct that. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered them, have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas, Issachrat, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. And that is the end of the reading today. We read the book of St. John, chapters 5 and chapter 6. <laughs>